Okay, guys, so I have here the Reolink camera and the NVR, and the camera is connected directly here in the PoE port. And I also have a connection here to my network, so I can see cameras on my network, but I cannot see the Reolink camera that's connected here yet. Okay, so I need to fix that. So here in the screen, what we can see is that I have the other cameras that are connected to my network, but the real link camera that's connected to PoE ports not here. And here I have connect connection failed for a different camera that was trying before, and also here in here. And then what I need to do is to have a space here for the camera. Okay, so I need to exclude this camera from here because I'm using auto add. So then if you're basically here, what it does is broadcast the information here on those ports. So I have a port here. It's going to ask if there's a real link camera connected to it, right? If there is, it's going to give the camera an IP and connect using the username and password, the default username and password, unless I change it on the camera here, right? By default, it's going to use the password that comes from factory, right? So back here, but you can see that I don't have a way to do that. If I click here on modify, I have the protocol, IP address, port number, account name, and things like that. If I just try to exclude uh, the IP address here like that, the camera complains, this field cannot be blank, can't be blank, right? So I just hit cancel. And what I have to do in fact is click and select. When I click here, I select and then I see these options here. Then I have info, I have replace and I have delete. I can just click here and delete. And now it tries to, to connect the camera, you see? It quickly find the camera. That's the RLC510A, that's my camera. And says that I have the incorrect account name or password because I was using this camera before. Uh, in the network with a different username and password, okay? If it's the default one, is going to work. If it's not, you just need to click here and modify your password, okay? So I'm just going to click here and modify my password. Okay, so I entered the password here and I hit enter, okay? And the camera says that's logging in and here we go. So basically I have here the camera working Okay, in the new spot. And I can do the same for other cameras that I have here. So it's pretty simple.